30, yes. Okay. You know, many times in, in 30 years, patients will come in for the first time and uh, it'll be their initial experience with a plastic surgeon. It might be the fourth or fifth plastic surgeon that someone sees. And I think there's one thing that really is reassuring to patients is if they can talk to another patient. In other words, a patient relating to another patient. Uh, they talk to a doctor, it's a doctor-patient relationship. But I have always in my practice said to people, would you like to speak to another patient who's had a breast augmentation or a facelift? And many times they say, yes, that would be wonderful. So we respect confidentiality, so we call patients and say, Betty, I have a patient who wants to think of a breast dog. Would you mind talking to him? No, no, Dr. Brooke, I'd be happy to. And so the whole purpose behind these testimonials is to give you real-life patients discussing their experience, their results, uh, their motivations for having plastic surgery. And, of course, we all have different reasons as to why we want this done or that done. And I always tell people, everybody has something that they wish they could change. Um, and I just recently put a piece on my blog site about uh, do plastic surgeons have plastic surgery? And many times one of the questions people will ask me patients, Dr. Brewey, have you had plastic surgery? And I smile, I'm very honest because again that's part of who I am. And I tell them yes I've had plastic surgery and, and I think it was probably about 20, 22 years ago I had liposuction. Um, and I have to say that the idea of getting up in the morning looking in the mirror. I even see myself now when I'm shaving doing a little tuck here. So maybe next year at this time or two years I may come back to you and say not only did I have liposuction but I also had and I'll let you fill in the blanks. And uh, Tell me a little bit about what caused you in the first place to to see down a plastic surgeon. I had bariatric surgery and I lost a lot of weight and I had a lot of excess skin on my stomach. Um, my breast, they weren't there anymore. I'm 33 years old. They look like I was a 70 year old lady. And I wanted them to look nice and so I ended up searching out the cosmetic surgery. Now let me ask you, how much weight did you lose after your... 175 pounds. And over what period of time did that occur? About two years. Two years. So, how did you happen to find me? Um, I just called you guys up and made, made an appointment, never searched anyone, or did any research, and I uh, came down here for my consultation. I walked in, and there was everything was positive. Anywhere else. I knew this was a place that I was meant to be, I was meant to have this done to you, I mean, you made me feel comfortable, um, to Eileen, everybody. I knew that this is where I was supposed to go to get it done. Let me ask you this. In the interview process, when I was talking to you for the first time, did you feel like I covered all the bases and answered all your questions and you felt comfortable with the answers? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Now, how was it from the time you decided to have the surgery with me so you had the actual surgery. Did you feel like that was handled professionally and properly and promptly? Oh yes. And I mean, I mean, I've had people tell me, "Well, you need to go research." And I'm like, "No, <clears throat> everything, everything that I needed to know was answered." And there was a reason why I was supposed to come here. And you guys did a great, you know. It's funny because I've always told patients because many times patients will come in, and I may be the first doctor they see, I may be the fifth doctor. And I said, the good about going to five people is you feel you've researched all possibilities. Uh, and I said, the negative is you may go to five people, you get five different opinions. And so you walk away scratching your head and you say, hmm, where do I go? And so I always tell patients, go where you feel comfortable. Go where your heart and soul leads you. And is that pretty much what you did? Exactly. Okay. Now. After you had your surgery, explain to us exactly what you had done. I had, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. The Abdominal plastic. Tell me about it. That's easy. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, those are generic terms. Tell me, Doug. And the breast augmentation. And has it met your expectations? Yes. Yes. Um, the tummy tuck is, that's one thing that I cry more about. 
So I never thought I'd have a flat stomach. I've always been big and it's just a wonderful experience. The incision is beautiful. Um, the healing process is, is wonderful. The breast augmentation, never had breasts like that before. <laughs> so and it's wonderful. And Doesn't it? Let me ask you this. Aside from the physical, how does it make you feel mentally? I get more confidence. I get a little bit more pep in my stuff. I'll, I'll admit. You know. Good. Now let me ask you this. The post-op course, in terms of pain and, oh, this pain is unbearable, anything like that, how would you relate your experiences post-op after having all the surgery done? It was just hard getting in and out of bed, and you walk a little hunched over, cause, I mean, because of, of the tummy tuck, and right. just got to take it slow, and if you're a restless person like me, you have to make yourself do it, and, but... Other than that, it wasn't did, that much pain. And right? it wasn't as bad as you thought. Exactly. Okay. And um, the bariatric, that was even more painful. And I was still cut open. And with this one, it wasn't that bad. The painkillers, I was, I think I only used them for like three or four days after the surgery. And then after that, it was just Tylenol extra strength. Now, let me ask you this. Would you recommend myself and our office and our practice to other patients? Absolutely. Friends, family? I, I praise you guys. It's just, uh, to me, it's a phenomenal experience. I'm glad I went here. If there was anything else that I wanted to be done, I would come here. And my mom, she's already wanting to come here. So, <laughs> she's seen. She, yeah, she likes you too. She's like, he's, he's a nice doctor. You know, he was thorough. You made her feel comfortable when I had her come in. and so. That's what it's all about. See, my philosophy has always been everybody matters. Everybody's special, everybody's unique, and that includes you. I did feel that way. And that's the way I treat my people because that's why I want my family treated. Because mm -hmm. you are special. And it's not a number, it's not a case, it's a human being that has specific needs. And my goal has always been to meet those to the best of my ability. Well, I think you did. Hey, well, thank and you, you so went much. well beyond. <laughs> Do you have any questions, Amanda, you want to ask me? No, I wish I did, <laughs> but I don't.